So our question today is sticking with what you have to eat or your meal prep um, things you, you do for lunch specifically. So in the middle of the day, when that hunger hits you and you walk into the kitchen or you're out and about, whatever you might be doing, what is it that you like to do for lunch? Very important question. When that midday hunger hits, you got to honor that. It's, uh, uh, unless you're fasting, uh, then it's hard to keep your mind on you know, whatever task you have in hand, but your stomach is growling and you are thinking of, uh, of what you had for dinner last night or what you're going to have for lunch. Uh, you should honor that. Uh, the body's blood sugar is dropping a bit. You want to uh, listen to your body's call. So where do you start? Well, I'm a pretty methodical guy and I like things simple. So when I walk in the kitchen midday, um, in my mind's eye, I see three big S's there, soup, salads, and, um, and uh, steamed veggies. And uh, that certainly makes for a good solid lunch. But for lunches, I'll, that, that third S there, I'll turn into sandwiches as well. So um, soup, salads, and sandwiches, that certainly makes, uh, makes a great lunch. If you've made a vegetable soup, and I hope you're making soups in big batches, uh, and uh, you make up a, a nice hearty vegetable soup in a crock pot or a slow cooker, let it cook all day, um, and uh, pour parts of them, uh, part of the soup into plastic Tupperware containers, let them cool, put lids on them, put them in the freezer. So you got frozen soup portions there when you don't want to cook. The rest of the soup, uh, keep it warm in the uh, in the pot there. And every time you walk through the kitchen, you're going to leave a lot of cup of soup and have it. Well, that's a great way to start your lunch is a cup or two of uh, a nice hearty vegetable soup or whatever you have left over the chili or the, the dal or the curry, whatever it is. So uh, starting with the soup, if you have one, again, good reason to think ahead. Salads, like Dr. Furman says, the salad is the main dish. And, uh, and every chance you get to have some fresh salad, take that chance. And uh, you want at least one big fresh salad every day, but two is even better. So I have a salad for lunch and a salad for dinner, but get those fresh veggies and you can't live on everything all cooked and processed and, uh, and coming out of cans and packages. You want that fresh live produce. So they make up a colorful salad, nice dark romaine and throw every colored vegetable in there you can. Uh, shredded carrots and radishes and green peppers and whatever you'd like. Uh, and make up again a big bowl of it uh, and a big silver bowl and keep it in the fridge. And when, every time we're walking through the, the kitchen, it's okay to reach in and uh, I think you have the tongs in there and just to put a big uh, tong full of the salad and pour some non, um, non uh, oily salad dressing on it and enjoy it. So, uh, vegetable soup and a salad, that's a lunch right there, really, if you do it right. And nothing stops you from you know, opening up a can of beans and throwing that on the salad. That, that certainly works. So soup, salads, and a sandwich. And it's lunchtime. It's okay to have a sandwich. And there's these wonderful breads available nowadays, the uh, dark Ezekiel breads and modern breads. Uh, but I've been eating less and less bread lately. It makes me feel like I got a bowling ball in my stomach there. It's really heavy. So what uh, my wife, Elise, and I are doing these days, uh, we make lettuce wraps. We take a big leaf of romaine lettuce or a big collard leaf. We'll put a glop of hummus on there, uh, a couple of avocado slices, carrot sticks, celery sticks, uh, thin sliced tofu. And then we wrap it up and do a lettuce wrap. And uh, so we get the sandwich eating experience there, but no bread, and it's all done with veggies. And that leaves us filled up, but really light and, and energized. So uh, again, those three S's, uh, soup, salads, and, uh, and a sandwich, but feel free to use a lettuce wrap for the sandwich. Uh, that fourth S, the steamed greens, absolutely appropriate. And if you've got some leftover broccoli from the night before, or steamed carrots or greens, or absolutely. So, uh, uh, heat them up and eat them or throw them on the salad, throw them in the soup, uh, get them in is the most important to say. So, uh, so that midday meal is a great chance uh, to give your body a, its first day's honest helping of a whole food plant-based diet. So hearty vegetable soup, fresh salads and, uh, and sandwiches or steamed veggies in whatever form you like it. And you got a great midday meal that sure it gets you all the way around to that six o'clock hour where you have your last meal of the day. So that's how I run my lunches and uh, you're invited to uh, uh, 
and to follow the same pattern. It'll serve you well too. Yeah, that's that's really great advice. And I think that the um, you know, the three the three to four S's is helpful. Even something that small, just to think, wait, what was it Dr. Clapper said? You know, and you and you can just have those go-tos and I agree with the wraps. Those can definitely still be really, really hearty without the bread. So th those are just some great examples of some things that that you know you can have for plant based for lunch. So thank you so much. Thank you to our viewers for tuning in. We'll see everybody next time. Take care. Bye bye. Hi everyone. Dr. Michael Clapper here, announcing our new format for our Q and A with Dr. K. Annie Hagen will be asking me one question that's been sent in by our viewers. So if you want to see if your question is getting answered, do join us for our Q&A with Dr. K right here. Hope to see you then.